Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com with a first look at the Epson MG850HD projector. This does do full 720p video, very well at that I should say. We do have multiple inputs on the side for HDMI, composite, component, and even a microphone input. Here's the remote. Very basic remote, but it does let you do all the standards, such as power, switch source, aspect ratio, color mode, menu, and tons of many more options. Now because this is just a first look video, I'm going to go through three different video sources that I find are interesting enough to show off. This is indeed my third generation iPad, of course with pet hair on it, but there's really not much I can do about that. iPhone 4S with the bumper off, I'll get more on that later. And of course my Modern Warfare 3 Edition Xbox 360. Okay, so turning the projector on, you just press the power button. Pretty obvious stuff. It takes about a minute to boot up, which isn't bad at all. Now to get this ready ahead of time, you just press that to open up the dock, which does fit both the iPad and the iPhone, as well as the iPod Touch. Now the fan sounds really loud right now. That's only because it's starting up. But I will say this thing puts out some major heat. That's obviously required because of the bulb and it's just a common thing for projectors. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind. It's typically not this loud, just as a heads up, but it will definitely quiet down in probably less than 30 seconds. Panning up, you can see that the Epson brand did show up. And yes, as promised, the projector is now much, much more quiet, which is obviously very welcome because I'm not a fan of loud noises for my hardware, but sometimes it's required. But for this one, it's pretty quiet, so it's really not that bad at all. Give that a second to fully boot up, and there you go. If we zoom in here, you'll see that it says, Source iPod, no signal. And I apologize for my wall. I've had a bunch of things taped out over the years, so that's why it kind of looks like that. All right, zooming out, we're kind of losing focus there. So let's plug in the iPad first and see what happens. As promised, this does fit the iPad just fine. And I got to say, it looks pretty good on it. Give that a second. Actually, sometimes you got to push in a little harder. There it goes. And you can see 43% charged. Now up popped this menu automatically. I didn't even have to do anything. So taking out the remote right here, you can just navigate just like any other source or video out there, whatever you want to say. Go to videos, you can browse your movies, music videos, TV shows, video podcasts, rented movies, and videos in iTunes U, which I think is pretty cool. You do have your selection of music, playlists. I only have really two real playlists on here. That's Animal Crossing and purchased. David's iPad, as far as I know, is just all my music, yeah. I really don't use my iPad for music, so that's why there's only maybe like 20 tracks on here. Going back, we do have access to photos and more, and you'll see this little thing pop up. This is how you play your YouTube videos using the official YouTube app on the iPad and or iPhone, well, and or iPod Touch as well. Because unfortunately, this projector does not have AirPlay support as far as I know, but it does work out pretty well. So let's zoom back out here. Now that we're in YouTube mode, I like to call it, just open up YouTube. I already had a video playing as a uh, test. Give that a second to buffer. For whatever reason, our Wi-Fi is not the fastest. This isn't obviously a projector issue. Actually, let's just go back and choose a different video. Let's go to my first look at Max Payne for the iOS platform. And if you look up here, it starts playing. Hey guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com. And that is indeed my video. Max Payne. And I gotta say guys, the video quality looks pretty damn good. iPad and iPhone. I believe it works on the iPhone 4 and 4S as well as the iPod Touch. Yes, it does. Now pausing that, you will hear that this does indeed have built-in speakers, which I gotta say I was very, very impressed by, at least so far. I mean, Honestly, I didn't really expect much out of a projector because its main purpose is, well, yes, to project video. But the audio on this thing is actually pretty good, especially in terms of bass performance. Now, I'm really not going to play any copyrighted music during this video for obvious reasons. I don't want to get hit by YouTube copyright claims. Uh, but take my word for it, audio quality is pretty good. 
Okay, so now moving on to my iPhone 4S. The bumper is off for a reason, as mentioned in the beginning of this video. And that reason is because, unfortunately, this projector does not support accessories on your iOS device, as far as I can tell from my general usage anyway. But you can indeed wear skins, like I am right now from iCarbons. This thing is great, but that's a whole other video. So plugging it in is just like the iPad, but it fits just a little better. Putting it in does bring up the menu just like last time. Let's zoom in a bit here. And for this video example, I'm going to bring up iPad Today, which is a great podcast on the Twit Network with Leo Laporte and Sarah Lane. Of course, I'll, I'll give them credit below because it is a great podcast that I think is worth checking out. And this is an excellent example of audio quality. So listen up, watch, and enjoy. And G Zinga swoops in, Flipboard goes to China, and it's Angry Birds in Spain. All that and change your iPad color if you want to. Really? Yeah, on iPad today. iPad today is brought to you by. So, as you can hear, the audio quality for a projector sounds pretty awesome. And now for quite possibly the most exciting part of the video, I'm going to demo my Xbox 360 on the projector. Now because of my room setup in limited space, I do have to move the projector over a little bit to get that HDMI cable in. So the projected image might be off just a little bit. But anyway, booting up the Xbox 360, which is right up there by the way, give it a second. There it goes. Now if you press the source button, it will automatically switch to whatever hardware it thinks you're using at that time. So as you can see, it goes through the list, HDMI, and there is my Xbox 360. Now I gotta say, video quality is very good. It's not great or fantastic because it is a projector and I am, again, using it on a blue wall. So that could definitely have something to do with it. But for what it is, it's definitely great enough if you're serious about your projectors or if you have a home theater or if you're just looking for a different way of enjoying your media. And that is that, just a very quick clip of the Xbox 360 showing the dashboard and pretty much proof that it works. It does work the same exact way that the iPad and iPhone performed in that it displays the video and audio just fine. It's definitely good enough for enjoying your content. Now of course this was just a brief, a fairly brief for me at least, uh, first look at the MG850 HD. I can't memorize it, do you blame me? But overall, guys, I gotta say I'm very impressed so far, so stay tuned for my full review very soon. Again, very special thanks to Epson for sending this thing out for a review. I really appreciate it. This thing is awesome so far, and it's my first projector ever. So a little confession, not counting the ones I've used in the past for my parents, like those old-fashioned projectors, but this thing is pretty sweet. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my full review again, and I'll see you guys next time.